Hey guys, this is Darren with Creativity Unleashed, and in this video I wanted to just do a little bit of an overview of the darn tough socks I just got. Um, I do a lot of welding, I'm a certified structural and pipe welder, and so I'm in boots all the time, and so I just wanted to show you the boots I have, socks I have, give my opinion, and I'd also love to hear what you all are using, and what you've had good success with, and what to avoid. So these right here are the darn tough hiker boot socks, and um, these are a full cushion I believe it is and I'll put a link in the description of this. Um, they have them about six colors. I got one more here. They ran about $25 each, and um, they threw in, I got a cozy with it for a drink. Um, they have full lifetime warranty if they get a hole or stretched out or anything like that, they'll replace them. Um, here's some of my favorite boots are the Red Wings. These ones are actually a pair that are um, over 14 years old now, and they're still working. Um, they're so good that I was like, I need to, um, get another pair of them because these are just about getting worn out, I would say. Um, the steel toe is starting to get loose in them, but, um, some, a friend gave them to me, uh, back quite a few years ago because they thought they were pretty well worn out and they thought I might get a bit more use out of them. I used them for several more years, took them all over the world, worn them. I mean, they've been in Canada, Africa, all over the place. And, um, yeah, they're great boots. Um, and so I ended up going to the Red Wing store and um, this is the closest they have to that same boot. And these are the model, um, um, the 4200 model, I think it is. I got mine in size 10. They thin, tend to run just a little bit narrow in my opinion, but maybe my feet are wide. Um, but yeah, these have been great boots. Worn them about a year now. The leather is super soft and supple. And great i've conditioned them a few times and waterproofed them and whatnot they need probably cleaned again and all but hey it's their boots it'd probably be good to use shoe trees or boot trees so they say but i um, haven't done that also got some of the red wing socks they've been really comfortable as well um they're about 16 dollars and they have um a warranty of forget what warranty but it's pretty good um another sock that i've just tended to get because i found them really cheap is um jockey socks they had um a guarantee that they wouldn't get holes and if they did they'd replace them and i got like eight of them for like 10 12 bucks and i've worn them for several years and there's a bit of wear on them but they're really not that bad and these are like full cotton so they're very um, very cool whereas these are all i think the marina wool um as well as i think this is like a wool blend as well so um yeah so far i've been really happy to see socks and by the way these are a medium size so you can just See how that you can see the red wing boot put on and how much the darn tough socks stick out of the boot for perspective um, these are incredibly comfortable boots um, the leather is really soft and supple like I said I have conditioned it a few times but I really like that one of my favorite things is how well they bend and that they're very flexible when you kneel and whatnot um, and I believe these cost around 250 260 dollars um, and I believe they're still made in America, which I think is pretty great. Um, another um, good pair of hiking boots and stuff. I really have liked the Merrill products. Been very happy with that. And the friends that have had them, they've all been very happy with Merrill, as far as I know. So, I would love to hear what's your favorite socks. What are your favorite boots? What do you think is the best for the welding field? I found these to work great. Um, but yeah, it would be great to, to know what's... Um, what you all think is the best so yeah feel free to leave your opinions in the comments thanks guys bye